He entered the rebel hometown of Benghazi to the welcome of a conquering hero. And Prime Minister David Cameron gave Libya's National Transitional Council a speech befitting the victory of an ally. Your city, your city was an inspiration to the world as you grew up a dictator and chose freedom. The Prime Minister flew into the city alongside French President Nicolas Sarkozy on a whistle-stop tour of what he termed Free Libya. The rebels chanted the names of the two leaders, whose warplanes arguably helped bomb the Gaddafi regime from the point of victory to utter defeat. But this was a meeting to offer support for the future, as well as celebrate the victories of the present. And as well as good wishes, promises to decommission Libya's most dangerous heavy weapons and to rebuild its schools. A strategy to ensure the new Libya doesn't return to old ways.